Hi, I'm Mark, and today I'm going to be talking about some unique lighting ideas. If you're an advanced player, a lot of these are going to seem familiar. If you're an intermediate player, eh, maybe you'll catch some fresh ideas. If you're a beginner, however, you may find some really neat ideas for lighting your builds in a way that's different than maybe everybody else's. So let's get started. One of the things about me is I absolutely hate exposed torches and uh, glowstone. To me, they just look ugly and lazy. Now, that's just my opinion, but I really don't like them. So, over the last couple of years, I've looked for unique ideas to light places. And here's some of the ones I found. This is by no means all of them, but I think that... Better close that up. Um, I think you're going to find that these are nice looking and they are a little unique. The first one is this redstone block surrounded by lamps. Now, the, the lamps look really, really nice. They are a little expensive when you start talking about glowstone, um, but put in the ceiling like this, they look intentional. They look like they were supposed to be there, like real lights would. So this is a simple one. Like I said, a little expensive with the redstone and the lamps, but uh, overall a great looking one. Let's go on to number two. By the way, there's 10 of them in here. This you may have seen. These are item frames with torches. Now, if you start over here, you can see here's just a torch and an item frame. It looks nice, but it's, you know, it's not great. Then I've got a torch and a, uh, I believe this is a fence post. Yes, a cobble fence um, or cobble wall or whatever the heck you call it. Um, it looks a little nicer. This is a block of black wool, which has a little something to the look. This is my personal favorite. This is an anvil. However, as good as this looks, you're talking 31 uh, ingots of iron to put it together. So it's, it's a wee bit expensive unless you have an iron farm on your server or an iron farm in your, uh, in your single player. This one is a piece of glass um, mounted on the item frame. It's a unique look and if you tie it in color wise with your decor, you might find that you really like this one. And finally, the last one is a block of wood and this too is tied into the decor. So it looks finished, it looks nice. Um, but you can try just about any block in there and find something that really looks nice for you. Moving on to number three, these are staircase lights. If you notice there's an exposed piece of glowstone there, yeah, I'm willing to accept a little bit of exposed glowstone. You could put redstone lamps in there. Uh, however, again, that's gonna get expensive, but they do look a lot nicer. Uh, they're in the wall behind each of the staircases and they show just that little corner piece. Now be aware they don't light as good as um, a lot of other lighting ways because you're losing some of, the, uh, some of the amount of light to the staircases. For example, I put the carpeting in here to keep mobs from spawning and cheated a little by putting in carpet over the top of a torch. And I'll show you this one in just a few seconds. But this lights us up much better. If you watch, I get rid of this and it gets dark in a hurry. So you can see the nice accent lighting of those stairs, but I wouldn't use this as my primary lighting source. Let me put a torch back in there quick before something starts spawning. I've had a real issue on here with slimes and I'm not sure why. All right, so moving on, this next one is bushes in the ground. Take a look, there's a torch down here. It could just as easily be a jack-o'-lantern or it could be um, a glowstone or a redstone lamp. Uh, torches are cheap, they're easy. And then the leaves that are over the top, those are jungle leaves. I found those to be the best looking of the group. They tend to be the densest, um, but you can use uh, any leaves you want to put in there. And it's just a, it's a nice outdoor lighting that looks halfway decent. I'm not a huge fan of it, however. Um, there are ways that I think seem a little more inspired and look a little more intentional than this way. On the next one, we actually use bushes. Now these are leaves. Obviously the blocks are put down to look like bushes or hedges. And then underneath is glowstone. You can barely see it through here and it does a nice job of lighting without any fall off, which is really great. You don't lose that lighting like you did on the staircase one. In the next one here, got a similar idea, but instead we use glass. Now if you use a different color glass, like say white or clear, you get a look that looks very, very intentional. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna show you that real quick. 
Let's bring up our inventory and let's try a different color like, I'm not going to try clear, but we'll try like white. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, it looks a little more intentional, as though you meant to put lighting there. I've used this in a park, which looks great. Um, it looks like somebody lined the walkways of the park with some very intentional lighting. Let's get rid of this. Next one is the carpeting. Now, I've already showed you some of this, but if you take a look, I put some torches underneath it. Now, the real key to this is to not put your torches on the sides of the wall. You can add to put them on the bottom, otherwise you will see the particle effects. Let me show you here. Oops, helps if I do the right thing. Got to do the right thing. All right, if I put it here, and I put some carpet on top of it, or I don't put some carpet on top of it, come on. Okay, to heck with it. You get the idea. I don't know why my carpet's not going down. Oh, maybe I was too close to it. Let's try this again. There we go. <laughs> I am a Minecraft player. I have been doing this for many, many years. Okay. So you can see your particle effects coming up through there. It's definitely better to put it on the bottom. I'm not sure. This is a good question for me. If I put it there on a lower one, can I do two layers? Hmm. Yeah, it would appear so. Whether or not it's actually lighting that, I don't know. All right, moving on to the next room. I'll quit babbling now. If you look around, you don't see any lights here. But they are here. They're hidden up in alcoves. Now, there's two different style of alcoves. This one drops back a notch and lower, which is really hidden. If you're on the floor here, you can't see that at all. This other one is got just a setback. If you get back like here, you can see those flames peeking through. These alcoves are nice. The only trouble with this style is that, again, it doesn't give a lot of light. So it's a nice accent lighting, looks cool around the, the tops of rooms, but overall it's not the brightest, uh, uh, it's not the brightest thing you could have. Kind of like me. These tend to light things up a lot better, however, they're a little more visible. So it really is up to you on what you're trying to accomplish. This next room I used alcoves. Now alcoves are pretty lazy, uh, quite honestly, but they do have a better look than uh, just throwing a torch on the wall. I mean, if you gotta look, which one looks nicer? You can put the item frames in there and really make these look a lot nicer. Uh, again, it gets back to looking intentional. You want your lighting to look like somebody didn't just throw torches up there, like somebody thought about it and went in and said, I want some really cool lighting here, just like you would in your own house. Get rid of that, it's ugly. And finally, the last one. Oops. I didn't even think about the fact that I had built this all out of wood. I didn't want to put flames or lava in here, nor did I want to rebuild it. So don't forget about flames and lava as lighting tools. Uh, I've got a, uh, a, lot of, a lot of use out of flames and lava over the last couple of years uh, to, to really light a place and make it unique. My, uh, my biggest complaint about flames is the noise they make. Uh, you're constantly having to listen to that, but they do look really cool. Uh, and lava is hugely dangerous to work with if you screw up. Uh, so keep that in mind when you're working with these and keep them away from wood. I have lost whole structures practically uh, to forgetting about that. So that kind of wraps things up. Hopefully the last 10 examples of some unique lighting have been helpful to you. Even if you got one or two, that's great. Uh, if you liked what you saw, leave a comment, like the video, or subscribe to the channel. If you didn't like it, keep that to yourself, please. Thanks for watching.